Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome, my name is D Sparrow's Journey, we are back to our space adventure in Osiris the New Dawn. On the last episode we just built our habitat, which is quite damaged, I have no idea why. Alfred, have you been doing dirty things to it or something? I have no idea. So, right now, my objective would be, you know, trying to build the habitat a little bit further, trying to expand it into a whole right out at quarters. Now, I didn't know on the last episode how to actually build walls on the sides and whatnot and how to improve it. Now, I know. I found out that you need to select your multi-tool. And once you do that, if you just over your mouse in a place where you want to build, for instance, a wall, you are able to do that as long as you have the resources in your bags. Also, you can use your mouse wheel and it will change to, for instance, a coupler, a windowed wall, and then finally the normal wall, which is your first choice. This looks like a place with a lot of promise, where I can just build the habitat in the middle and then expand to the sides from that point on. This seems to be the place to build your own stuff. And it's very close to the spawn point as well, which is a great thing. That guy might bug us once in a while, but we know how to treat him. We know how to take care of him. So destroy structure. Boom. You have to be very, very careful when building in Osiris. One wrong click, and as you can see, there's no confirmation box. Your whole headquarters might go to the moon. Alright. I now have a home. A new one. Let's build some walls. But for that, we need iron. Let's get it from the depository. So over here, I'll put some window wall. So for this one, we need some glass. So that we can watch what's around us. I have no idea how to build a proper roof, by the way. And on this side, I'll put another window wall. Which requires two glass and two aluminum. We need more of that now. So let's go back and get some more aluminum and titanium for the coupler. I reckon you can destroy a wall and build a coupler later on to expand your habitat. Right now, let's just focus on closing the habitat also to prevent us from being attacked by those spidery things. A window wall over here, windowed wall, so that you, we can see around and we can see this guy. Oh my god, for real? Please don't mess up with my building. Not yet, at least. All right, once you cover all the habitat with walls, the roof builds itself. Oh god. Okay, let's take care of this mother effort. Come over here. Enrique. I'm gonna call this bug Enrique for no reason. I don't know if he has a weak spot or not for a critical strike. Pretty sure I've killed one. There we go with a critical strike. Okay, so we have our habitat built. And that's awesome. I would really want to change the colors of it, but let's do that during the day when we can actually see some stuff. To pressurize this habitat and make it habitable, actually, you need what they call, let's see, over here, structures, the airlock. For that, we need some more copper. I have everything else, so come over here, Jarvis, Alfred Jarvis. I'm fine with each of those names. All right, so copper. And I can now make it, supposedly. So, airlock. Alright, cool. Now we should be able to put it over here. Rotate. Aha! Perfect! Should we rotate it once again? It's not gonna do much, right? Both entrances are the same, I would believe. Alright, confirm. And finally, confirm again. And this habitat should now have oxygen in it. Correct? Please, let's see. I'm proud of it. Look at that. I'm proud of my first building into Osiris. Let's see how things go from this point on. Okay, begin. Wow, you always need to do this to get into the habitat? Okay, that's cool. It's really, really small, but we will be able to expand it. Someday. Furniture, chemistry, table. Okay. Oh, you need to stick it to a wall. I'm not entirely sure if I like this because I'm gonna have to destroy a wall to expand the habitat. But the walls I'm thinking or planning to destroy are that one and this one, I believe. Yeah. So I'm gonna put the chemistry table over here. I quite like how you can, you know, just 
magnet things to a wall and whatnot. I like this system better than in games like Ark, where you have all the freedom. Sometimes that's cool to customize stuff, but I'm not a big builder or a big architect, so I just prefer this way instead. I love the windows. Oh, this is where you make plastic and rubber, even though we can have rubber directly from the trees. So in order to make plastic, let's not forget carbon and hydrogen. Carbon is not something that seems to be common. I've found carbon before, but I had to travel very, very far. For the barracks, you also need plastic. So from this point on, you need plastic for everything, which requires you to get, finally, the hydrogen and the carbon to the chemistry table. So uh, that's our next move, is to try and find these two materials out there. I'm gonna put a beacon right beside my habitat, and it's gonna be, you know, my new home. It's gonna mark my new home. So I'm gonna put it over here. So, utilities, beacon, let's craft it, and then, as you can see, you need to put it down, apparently. Uh, there's no point in rotating it. I'm gonna put it right over there. Beautiful. From this point on, this should be something marked in the map. So, beacon number four. Pretty sure I've only put one down. Oh, God. <gasps> you gotta be kidding me! I was customizing the habitat and... And the hardest part is that you don't even get your materials back. Three days later. This habitat looks absolutely amazing right now. You can also see that because of how beautiful it is, we had a lot of visitors lately. So, doing my research led me to believe that to make plastic is the next objective. Because you need that for everything else uh, down the line. But to make that, as we have already seen, we need carbon, which I was able to get. And I made this large crate, by the way, which is highly useful. I did find carbon together with hydrogen, which we need for the plastic. So these two are normally together on the same crater, which is great. The problem is, I don't know, or I didn't know, how to get hydrogen. I thought it was with a glass container, but it didn't quite work. What I find out that you really need is... what they call in this game, a barrel. So you need to come to the forge, you need some sheets of metal, you need some... copper, or whatever that is, I can't remember anymore. Also, I need to move my forge and my depositories closer to the habitat because walking all of this can become a little bit tiresome. So when you come to the forge, you have barrel and you need copper and steel to make some. So what I'm gonna do right now is get some hydrogen so that we can continue in progress through, you know, the technology line and eventually improve and expand our habitat. So I have here some steel, I have a lot of steel as you can notice. I have been doing my homework. We have some copper over here, so I'm gonna, for now, let's make a couple of them because I have no idea how much am I gonna need in the future. I am at 600 distance already from my headquarters, but I still don't see the gas. Oh ho! Whoa! Well, hello, Mr. Hydrogen! And also carbon. Let's take care of the carbon first. So I'm gonna get as much carbon as I can get without getting heavy. You can still move while you're heavy, if you use your rocket boots. Even though I do think it's gonna be a little bit... A little bit slower than normal. Now, let's see the barrels system over here. I do hope... Look at that. It's a huge barrel. I hope we can get back to our base without being any more heavy than this. I mean, gas don't really have huge weight, do they? So, 81. So, if I put it over here... Hydrogen detected. Zero out of 100. Do I need to get closer? Oh, there we go! I'm clicking on my left click, and it's filling up. Nice! It's up to the max, and my weight didn't change. Okay, now, this one has hydrogen in it. Let's choose another one. Awesome! I do believe I needed a lot of hydrogen to make plastic. Uh, I do remember something like 70. 
plastic or 70 hydrogen to make just one plastic. I might be wrong over there. So that means a lot of traveling back and forth just to get this hydrogen. We're going to be able to make plastic with 75 hydrogen. That's a lot. That's almost one full barrel just for one plastic. Are you kidding me? Well, let's make all of it. And there we go. That's all our hydrogen gone. And we only have six plastic. This is starting to reveal itself as more of a, an annoyance more than anything. Even though, actually, most stuff that you need plastic for don't require much plastic. They require three, two plastic, sometimes just one. There's wire in there as well. Maybe you do that on the fabricator, which we are actually about to build. So let's do that. We have... We should have two plastic. It's over here. Alright, so... It's not heavy, so let's bring it over here. So, for the fabricator, we also need aluminum, glass, and steel. So, let's do that. We can build that inside the habitat, I think. So, I'm going to go towards my forge. Wow, this weather is really being stubborn to me, isn't it? It's always like wind or fog or rain. You're never good to me, planet! Fabricator! Alright, where should I put it? Oh, I have to put it right in the middle of the habitat? It looks cool, but... Okay, that's kind of a different thing that we can build. It's quite unusual to have something like this in the middle. It looks like a table more than anything. A table that we will use to decide our next strategy against the enemy. In here we can make wire, which requires gold. I have no idea where to get gold. I never found gold yet. A circuit board, which requires lithium. Never found lithium either. We can make a glass container. The assault rifle, we already have one. So... We have a dart gun. I have no idea what this is. A special weapon that fires dart projectiles to stun enemies and also tame creatures. Tame creatures. We're gonna need a battery which requires lithium. And I'm only, you know, announcing names that I've never seen before. Obviously, this also requires gold and magnesium, but we already talked about that. And diamond. I've never seen diamond. Okay, that's a fabricator, and that seems to be the next step, is trying to figure out a way to find gold. It's a beautiful day outside, now that I've just finished the episode, and I'm gonna stop the video. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Osiris. You have the best timing in the world. My base is looking absolutely stunning, and I love it. My name has been Disparage Journey, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode. Have a good day in space. Bye-bye.